and we are back. To look at that guy behind the bench who's staring at us. He's Fuck staring. off. He's like, hey, would you would you like a massage? No, would you like I would not. to come not. over here and just I'll give you a bug massage with my mandibles. And before someone starts telling us to stop cursing on this too. Yeah, yeah. No, that's only that's only Bendy. It's only Bendy. And we're only allowed to uh, be told to uh, not curse on Bendy. Uh, Kids, watch this too. <laughs> Even though this is way more innocent than Bendy. Yes, far more. <clears throat> what did we discuss this on? Dark Souls? Uh, Dark Souls. Uh, uh, Darkest Dungeon? Darkest Dungeon, yeah. Yeah. We talked a bit about that. Yeah, some people are just uh, silly meisters. Yep. Oof. Yep. Woo! I did I get out of that? You did. Ha! <laughs> Not anymore. Well, I tried to jump to the left, and then I was like, oh, what is, what, what is this? Uh, not that I think the left would have been a better place to jump. Truly. Oh. Come on, Aircross. Oh. Go show me what you got. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, guys, can you stop bouncing, please? Nope. I just need a second to get you guys down. Hi. Whee! And now here's another. Ugh. Did I? Yes! I shadow dashed! I did the dash and the hit at the same time, and that, that one didn't go through. Too bad you can't parry. Yeah. Well, I, I did the parry. The, the parry was the white flash. Oh. Sweet. So I dashed and parried, like, in succession as appropriate for what I needed to do. Huh. Whee! And I've never done that before. It's always been a trick that I thought I could pull off. But uh, I just haven't, I hadn't done it yet to the point where I was like, oh, I don't think they can go off at the same time. Technically, I don't think they can be at the same time. I think I just did them in perfect succession. Probably. Probably just got very oh. lucky. Not very lucky, but very precise on your timing. Hey, it was probably pretty lucky. <laughs> no, was More than anything. It was probably pretty lucky, considering that I've done it a ton of times and hadn't ever done it perfected it or done it successfully to the point where I was like, oh my god, and then I just did it twice here. I was like, yes, I've been trying for this. <sighs> yes, Ooh, got nicely it. Nicely done. Yeah. Now I, I did a, a, a like five five round practice against the uh, Watcher Knights hmm. just because I was like, well, how am I going to handle dealing with the five of these, you know, together, six of these together. Oh, oh, get it off, get it off. Nice. You got one more, it. one more, one more, one more. Do not it. despair. Light from Monomon. Light from Monomon. This is Monomon's, uh, oops, I didn't get that one off. Go up, go up, go up, go jump, go jump, go dash. There we go. And you're safe. I was hoping to get some gel bells on my side. Oop. I tried to do the jump, and it didn't work. And a little above, and a little below. Nice. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And I don't know why I didn't get the bounce off of that one. It's because you landed on the platform. Oh, oh fuck, you're right. So it stopped you from getting that last hit. Yeah. Ooh. Don't! Damn it. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm not going for that one. No, there you go. Just gone. needed to make some distance. So you could heal up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just a, just a wee bit. And got it! Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of, little bit of practice against, uh... What's this one called? Um... Monomon? Fuck. No, no, no. This is, uh... Jellyman? Je yeah. <laughs> Essentially. Crystal Pepsi? I forget what they call them. Um... Ooh! Gotcha! Down! Too far. Too far. I want to do a little tappy tap against that, and it's not going to work. Um... Umu? Um Umbaku? Yeah, Umbaku. <laughs> Umbaku. I knew it! Umbaku. That's the one. Damn it! I hate when they get fucking stuck in the wall like that! Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. It doesn't come make on, it easier come on, for you. Come on. <sighs> Sending more gel bells my way. Nope, nope, stop going. Stop. I don't I don't want. Don't want. That bottom one's gonna be perfect. There you go. There we go. And he's out of there. Yeah, gone, you little jellyfish. Now. Yeah, that takes a while. I was hoping to get left a little bit more soul. I should have just uh healed. I can do it here. Yeah, you got time. <sighs> Nos gave me trouble in the practice round too, just because he's like, he's hard to gauge. Oh, that's right. It's not horny. It's fake Nosk. Yeah, yeah. It's winged Nosk. Oh. He's wow. got like a weird, like tall hitbox, and then this is always a weird one to try and dodge, especially when you can't see it's coming. Get those air dodges. In. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta do you like, and sometimes his, uh, sometimes his timing is off. Like he'll summon those two oranges together, uh -huh. right? Fuck. Uh. But sometimes he'll he'll summon one, and then the second one will come in like way after. It's too bad you don't have an up dash. Uh, you can if you use Dash Master. Oh yeah. 
Because yeah. I wonder if like that would help in some ways, because it will allow you just to dash upwards, so you could plan your timing instead of dashing to the side. Probably. You could probably pull it off. But uh, at the same time, I've done no practice in on it. Ugh! Yeah. That uh, it would it would be hard to learn in the middle midst of battle. That would take you a while, yeah. To yeah, I I had to try and okay high hitbox. I had to try and fucking uh, learn how to use it in the uh, what do you call it? Um, the the path of pain. Oh yeah. Uh, and that was not fun to learn up dash in the path of pain. Oh yeah, that did create a little bit of problems. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit. It was not the most fun thing ever in the world. Yeah, Trying to get bad. like a second to oh, heal. Oh, it took us like two episodes. Yeah, yeah. I, did we end up changing it out? I can't remember. Nope. Ah! Don't, 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 don't. We once you commit to that level, you're stuck there. So we just yeah. stuck through it the entire time. Well, they didn't have benches in there. They did, but um, you couldn't go. They had checkpoints, but they didn't have benches. Oh, was that it? Yeah. I don't even remember anymore. Oh, don't hit me from above. Don't hit me from above. Don't go and hit me with your giant hitbox. Got him. You're dead, Nosk. You're dead. Explode like a good bat boy that you are. Fuck off. Goodbye, <laughs> Hornet Skull. Please don't cuss. My child watches this. Hey, it's my main man, Sly. Hi, Sly. Oh, God damn it, that didn't work out. No, it did not. I thought he had like another second of... Uh... Someone's been watching a lot of Advent Children lately. Ooh. Uh, why do you say that? Because his sword's three times as big as... Oh, 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 I get what you're saying. Yeah. Ah. Come on, come on. So you get the most amount of attacks on him if you stay on the ground, but the you need to stay above him right here. Here in the game. Oof. Uh, Sephiroth and, and goddamn Cloud. Yeah. Oof. Come on, come on, chase me, chase me. Oh, not that way. Gotcha. Gotcha, That's Sly. Bug is Sly based off of. Wee! A uh, cricket, I think. Ah. Oh. You're supposed to give us advice and be our moral compass. Not beat <laughs> he is. He's a great nail sage. Yeah, no! That's true. <laughs> Don't, what don't, shall don't. I teach you today? I'm gotcha. gonna teach you the path of pain. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to bleed, boy! But I just beat that one. No, 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 the real path of pain. Oof! Ah! I got it off. No, thank you. I don't want to. Nas just that. like straps you up and starts sticking nails into your corpse. <laughs> <laughs> like in a form of uh, acupuncture. Acupuncture, yeah, yeah. Oh, with just giant nails. It's like nail torture, needle torture. Yep. Oh, buddy. Uh -huh. He tried to tell Damn me it. you know, therapeutic, but I don't really oof. believe him. Oof, oof, that's right. Faster than you. Not really. Go ahead. Go Definitely ahead. Not uh, faster. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. Gotcha. Got him. Goodbye, Yoda. As he darts off. Oh. And he's not done. Round don't, two. Don't immediately go into it. Some yeah. people don't like that Star Wars fight with Yoda. I dig it. I thought it was kind of cool because it gave power to a character that you thought was weak, but then you knew was strong with the Force. Yep. Yeah, it could have it could have been done a little bit better, but that's another hindsight 2020 type of deal, you know? Yeah. It's like, all right, well, they did what they could at the time. And I remember my grandmother, who was like a super Star Wars fan, was like, oh my god! And she was like, do you understand what this means, Christopher? And I was like, I don't know, Gam Gam. And she was like, well, he was strong all along. Yep. I'm like, holy crap! You're right! Yeah, I always thought those fights with Yoda were cool. Some people didn't like the ribbed croc, like frog kind of acrobatics. Uh, off, but I thought it was interesting. Yeah, his his acrobatics were a little silly, uh, but I don't think they could have been done much better. Truthfully. I don't think so, honestly. He's an alien too, guys. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, he's an. We've alien. never seen any other. Oh, come on. He's an. You're gonna really combo all those hornet. He's an 800 year old green humanoid alien. Who's to say that he can't? Force himself to flip around like that. He's, he seen, didn't. He was force jumping, right? Yeah, I've seen children do like quad backflips. So you know what? I can believe an old man of that ah, size and that is strong in the force is able to manipulate that. Oh, 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 oh! No Shaw. Take your sewing needle and go back home. Crochet something better oh. than a pain sweater. I want to. I want to find out her weapon's origin in the in the DLC. Like I know that was a stupid thing to do in like the uh, in the. Um, she probably found it after the solo movie. Martha Stewart went to prison. And found <laughs> the girl before. I was like, ooh, a weapon. I know it was dumb in the solo movie. Like how we got his weapon and all this other stuff. Just felt so easy. But 
don't She's know. the only one who doesn't fight with a nail. Yeah. It's a sewing needle. Make sure needle. you get that stuff. I will. It's a sewing needle, right? Honestly, the star, the stuff in Solo didn't bother me. It was all references. It was nothing new, barely. Eh. I don't know if I would agree to that. It didn't feel like episode seven, where it felt like a retread of a story. It felt, it was an origin story. So yeah, they're gonna show you how he got the die, and they're gonna show you how he got his weapon, and show you how he got his ship, because it's his origin movie. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't, nobody's complaining about the ship and the die and stuff like that. Because oh, I the heard die, people complain about the die. Well, sure, com people are gonna complain about a lot of shit. But like, we didn't need the origin of his gun, or Chewie's bandolier thing, or any of it. It's like, all right, we get it, references. The whole movie's references, like, I didn't feel that's like cool. a reference. I felt it was something that, yeah, I mean, this is their origin story. This is how they came to be, so yeah, why not? I never felt it was being overtly obvious that here's his gun, here's his okay. bandolier. Okay, all right, his last name. Yeah. What the fuck was up with that weak ass fucking writing bullshit? <laughs> like, oh, you're alone? You must be a solo. It's like, what is what is this? Game of Thrones? You get your last name based off of fucking cause if you're a bastard or not? Like, I don't I don't understand the whole it just seems contrived. It didn't bother me. It we was... didn't need an answer for why his last name was Solo though. Yeah, you didn't need it, but it's not something to that add was... it in seemed like it took more away from the the mystery of the character. The character is a mysterious uh, gambling, you know, like uh, it just felt like it explained so much for a character that we were like, oh man, we have so much love for him because he's he's the gangster, he's the you know like he shouldn't have everything explained. But they were like, well, we're gonna go into hopes of explaining everything. I, I was like, know. man, leave some mystery for him. That's that's never bothered me because most of the expanded universe has kind of gone into that stuff anyways. That. Yeah, but the expanding universe isn't canon, right? Yeah, not anymore, but it was considered canon for a long time. Yeah, but um, it seems like they kind of took it a just, little bit too far. I know some people feel the same way about that with the Joker, but for me, it's like, okay, just don't watch it then. If you don't watch it, then... No, 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 but we explain. didn't expect that they were going to go into that, so the don't watch it then doesn't I mean, work in that aspect. It's a Han Fuck. Solo origin movie. They're gonna... It's, since it's an origin They're gonna movie, explain everything hand over fist and not give you any kind of, stuff, yeah. any kind of subtlety at all. Yeah. I mean, typically origin movies tend to go down that route, yeah, a especially bit. when they're going over a character that has so much unexplained. God damn it! Because there's a huge fan base that wants to know how he got his last name, how he got his weapon, how he got his millennium. Because for every fan that wants it to stay mysterious, major plot there's point, another sure, but there's the another time. fan that wants to have explanation. Some people love the mystery, and some people absolutely abhor it. They just can't stand the fact that why didn't you explain this? Because they don't need to. Did, it's that's the fucking, a, it's a giant world. Yeah. Why do they have to explain anything but in that's, this giant that's world? That's your viewpoint on storytelling. Some people don't like that aspect and like things to be spelled the out. Majority for of people. Uh, I wouldn't even say the majority of people. The the point the point of storytelling is to for subtleties and, and intricacies to exist. If you're just hand feeding I mean, everybody like, here's your fucking horse bag, and I'm giving you all of the storyline into this horse bag. You're gonna like it whether you like it or not, and you're gonna eat it. And that's what you get. If you don't like it, you're gonna starve. Only one way to tell a story. I'm not saying there's only one way. But I'm saying for something as intricate as Star Wars, I would hope they're not gonna force feed it to people. I mean, that's we're just... willingly going to a movie for a character that's how many years old, and we're asking for a basic, About like 50. intricate plot structure and story based off of him. Not, not like, oh well. Uh, in case you didn't know what movie you were going, why didn't I get a double jump there? Why, in case you didn't know what movie you bought tickets for, like, we're gonna force feed you like you didn't know anything. And it's like, what, what, this is the character's origin, like you said, like, why do we need to be force fed any of it? I mean, it's just a different point of storytelling. Some people like that and some people don't. And to say that it's wrong, I feel is... It's worse. I don't know. I'm not I, saying I, it's wrong. I wouldn't even say it's worse. I think it's just a different way of telling a story. The point is telling the stories is no name. to not no name. pass along something that you want to tell others, regardless whether you enjoy things being more mysterious or things being more explained. It just depends on the individual. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want to be someone that tells someone that their enjoyment of a story is wrong or say that another telling. I never said another, you can enjoy it. I'm just saying, wow, fuck. I, that was the basis level of storytelling. I'm going to die here. I've ever just, seen. I don't see it that way. For something that was supposed to be an amazing story and a story for the ages of like Star Wars and something that's gone through different levels of storytelling over all time, it's like, 
God damn, man! Like, did you did you really have to dumb it down that much? I didn't feel it was that dumbed down. It was very dumbed down. The way his everything was just given to him structurally, like his last name, his his weapon, the bandolier for Chewy, like everything was. Stop running after me! Give me a fucking second! Ugh. It was very much like uh, they were just like, oh, we don't have confidence in the in the viewership to understand these things, so we're going to tell you. Wow, that takes two damage. So we're gonna tell you basically what you have to feel and how there's there's no intricacies, there's no anything beyond level one of this. This is how it is, and there's no you know any deeper storytelling beyond just the basic. I don't know. It didn't bother me. I didn't expect anything more out of it, and I don't. Go I, into, I don't go into films with expectations anymore because it just leads to disappointment. So I just take it for what it is and just it's enjoy it. It's an origin it. story. I, I, I'm expecting things based off of what the character has previously shown me. I mean, yeah. It, which was dark and mysterious and like kind of romantic and you know like in a weird way like but I got none of that from the the original story I don't know I felt differently I felt like yeah this is what a Han Solo origin movie would be yeah it could have been a little bit more mysterious but at the same time if you want a mysterious that's character, all I'm saying it could have been more mysterious if you want a mysterious character you don't tell an origin story you it's, want the origin story to leave mysteries though some I don't I don't think that's why you tell origin stories. The I don't. Reason, I don't go to the, stories expecting full 100% answers for The reason for why a that lot, takes the mystery away, and the character's built on mystery. I mean, there's a reason why people don't like Joker origin stories because it takes away from his mystery. But at the same time, that that's what you get when you get origin stories. If you don't want one, you just have to leave that stuff untold because then it lets the imagination thrive. As soon as you start telling an origin story, you're now defining that character's past. So you're taking Some away. Of it. You're taking away an aspect of what people like. Mm, some of it, yeah, because you're defining it. But like, I just when I go into an origin movie, yes, they could have not said the last name, but that even that, that was the dumbest part. I'm not saying that's the only gripe. That was just very like, oh well, we need to explain that too. Then it's like, no, don't stop. Nobody wondered why his last name was Solo. Trust me, no one gave it that much thought. But to explain it, it's like. Wow, we're really just being spoon-fed here, like, and then on top of everything else is like, this is insulting, like, this isn't necessary. Trust me, nobody who needs to be spoon-fed, like younger children, cares that much about Solo. This is a movie for the people who have nostalgia for him, and then the younger audience that grew up on him. To, to act like it's a problem for them to be like, oh, well, they'll never understand it. It's like... Come on, man. We don't need, again, like Spider-Man. We don't need his fucking origin story at every beginning of See, every movie for 20 this is where minutes. we completely disagree. So you want an origin story for Spider-Man every four years? I don't want an origin story, but the fact that they don't even put Uncle Ben, who is so critical to who that character is, and not to even mention him in the movie, I think is what movie? a misstep. Homecoming. I think to not even address. What are you talking about? They don't address that his uncle. Oh, is home, dead. oh, homecoming. Okay, yeah, okay. They don't address at all that his uncle is dead. And for him, his uncle is the core crux of why he became Spider-Man. And You're right. to not even mention him. Comment below, guys, is, if you don't know Spider-Man's origin story. It's not even about that, though. No, like, it is. It's really not, though. The fact that you don't have to. Spend... You're making a movie for these times. These times are everyone seems to know the origin story of Spider-Man. People do. You can you can subtly reflect it in other things. And they don't even do that, though. Do the they home, not? Homecoming doesn't even really reflect on the fact of why he became Spider-Man. They have one throwaway line where they say, after all my aunt's been through, but they have yet to mention the fact that his uncle died. And yeah, you don't have to. It doesn't need to be said. Everyone honestly, knows that. Just because everyone knows it, you have when you make a story, you need to perceive that no one knows anything about your character, even not if the character's specifically well known. for Spider-Man. I don't agree. The Spider-Man's way... been retold what, four times in the last twelve years. Even still, like I... they're not making a movie for the ages. It, they're, they're making a movie for the current times right now. Regardless, like, they're not looking to make Spider-Man Casablanca. They're looking to make a movie about Spider-Man that's in a succession and in a vast universe. Of, the guilt that he has from his uncle dying through his own actions. That's important, yeah. And to not even address that, I feel like, is a big mistake on their part. I feel that that's something that should have been addressed, even if it was just a conversation with his aunt. They don't have to show the death. They don't have to show him, you know, doing the same thing that happened in the Sam Raimi movie and chasing after the guy where it happened or going over that stuff. But to not even talk about it, it takes away from who his character is because that's something he always lives with. 
That's mm. something he deals with on a daily basis, and every time he puts on the mask, he does that. Like, he goes through those thoughts. It's something that's so integral to the character to not have that. You only have a portion of your character on screen then. For all that good that Tom Holland has done with that character, the weight of being Spider-Man is something that is always present for him. And mm. I felt like they didn't do enough of that in Homecoming, because he's, you know, he's not supposed to get the girl. His life is supposed to be a constant string of sacrifice. Um, and that's kind of what makes him into the heroic character that he is and why he's become so beloved over the years. I still feel like the best interpretation of that character has been through the 90s uh, series when it came on. It's got some wonky... What was, what was the 90s series? Uh, Spider-Man the Animated Series in oh, the 90s. Was his origin story told in that? Uh, no, they actually went straight into it, but they still addressed Uncle Ben. And I think Spectacular Spider-Man had a good way of adapting it as well. Mm -hmm. They didn't directly address it the same way the Sam Raimi movie did or the original comic, but Uncle Ben was something that was always present, and they did it by little foreshadowing moments of, okay, Peter lost someone. We don't know who it is. If you're a Spider-Man fan, sure, you know. No, we have to disregard that. We but, can't... Every movie's its own thing, right? But the fact that they did it subtly and kind of slowly... Writ, like, so went into so how, many, how many movies has Spider-Man, the new Tom Holland Spider-Man, been in? One. So... To not Are they done it? telling a story? He's then? Actually, he's been in three movies so far. From cameos? Movie. Or are we talking legit Spider-Man origin stories where his story is? He the has prime one thing? solo movie, but he's in the two Avengers movies. Yeah, but is is what's his what's his? That's like asking for an origin for, story for Ant-Man inside the movies that he cameos in. It's like no, it's, that's not the point. Yeah, you're right about well, his first. His like, first premiere was in the Avengers. Yeah, but do. You, I didn't expect. I wouldn't count that towards a story to where I gain additional story from him, other than the fact that he exists in it. I guess. I the one I had the problem with was Homecoming, and Homecoming is still and a really fine, good yeah. movie. But I don't agree with the fact that it should be just completely ignored. I, I, I didn't say ignored. I'm just saying like we shouldn't spend 20 minutes on on the origin story and like a flashback or time jump based off of Spider-Man anymore. It's been so done. Yeah, I just, I don't agree with that viewpoint on the storytelling because there's plenty of people that are now growing up that don't know that about Spider-Man. Sure. What, seven-year-olds, six-year-olds, four-year-olds? I don't think, cause that's who they're, that's who's being introduced to Spider-Man. Yeah, but people, Tom Holland is not the only Spider-Man. There's no, been four not. movies in like, 12 years. You have to tell it from the Ten perspective. Years. Like I said. The, you have to tell it from the perspective of that movies are a prime medium for everyone to enjoy in all accounts. He, there's other movies that exist. I don't know. I believe, with, I go with it the It can't Stan just be Lee like, oh, these movies are in my lifetime. I won't look anything else up. The way that comics have always been written in the way that for the most part, movies in general is you have to assume that your audience knows nothing. Yes, the sp yeah, that's character Spider-Man is insanely popular, but you gotta assume that no Why one's seen this right? before. Um, and to say just because no. there's been a bunch of other Spider-Man movies, I don't agree with that. I agree that you have to tell about Ben but not dedicate an entire movie to Ben. I'm not saying dedicate an entire movie to Ben. So you're saying Homecoming didn't hit on it other than the fact that why is Aunt May alone? Aunt May's alone. Can't have Aunt they May get her do anymore. That. She's not... She doesn't need there to go through that again. That's a lot of subtext. There's only And the one fact line. that it needs to be force-fed to people it's not leads me to believe that the they, you're thinking the audience is dumb if you're trying to be like, well, they need to know because every woman should have a man and if she doesn't, like, it must be something terrible. That's not even what I'm getting at. I know that's not what you're getting at, but it sounds to me like you're like, well, they need a full explanation. They can't you know, understand subtleties. It's not about subtleties. The fact that he's not even mentioned as a character for for Spider-Man, that's... I think that adds to it because it. it adds a layer of of anguish where it's like, we don't talk about the dead. What what kind of mental anguish do they have to you go through? You never get the idea that Peter is going through something, that he's still dealing with the death of his uncle. He's only been Spider-Man for, what they say, like six months, seven months, which uh, means his uncle, sure. his uncle died fairly recently. Mm -hmm. And that's something he obviously should be dealing with and the fact that they didn't he address is. it at all maybe it's the f i i took it as the fact that he didn't want to talk about it because it's so hurtful to him that i was like wow this is this is important because one it's di why didn't i dash because one it's different for uh him compared to other spider-mans which gives him the uniqueness and two it shows a little bit of the like not ptsd but like 
the the mental things that he's going through where it's like yeah he doesn't talk about it but is that because he's personally not ready to deal with it yet or what so i, I felt like it gave it extra they, layers i don't feel like they even addressed that even remotely there could have been ways that they could have subtly dealt with that and it could have played more i think the they did that... subtly deal with it but they didn't in a way where you didn't acknowledge it is all. Nah, I think just having that one throwaway line is not enough. I don't think it played enough into who his character was. It's not. Yeah. I disagree. I, I think that. I think that they did it in a way that was satisfactory based off of the times that the sh movies came out. But uh, we'll come back next time, guys. Beep bop boo. They're yes, totally not. fucking staring me down. Yep, they're just looking at you. He's like, hey, you want that massage? No. No thanks. No. No, stop looking at me. Go away. See, the secret is this isn't bathwater, this is lubricant. They're just lubricating my mask up so they can slip inside once I die. That's gross. Everyone's Hollow Knight. <laughs>